Hello, this is a video for the 2003 Patriot Grizzly Tank. It's part of the Spy Troops line and features action attack technology, which is different than the sound attack technology, which would be um, if it made sound, but it was making the sound through different weapon ports where you would take different guns and put them in different spots. But here, just like with the Thunderwing um, airplane, um, its sound and action features are done um, through either motion or through um, using different buttons that are on the um, machine um, or vehicle. Um, so I kind of hesitate to call this a vehicle though because as you can see it is rather big. Um, it's almost more of, in my opinion, a playset. Um, and when you're somebody who's running out of room, like I am, um, it kind of helps that it has all these pig um, on it. So as long as you're using um, figures before the 25th anniversary line or anything um, newer than that, um, unless they change the uh, pig holes on the newer figures, um, you will want to use the older um, figures, anything before the 25th anniversary. Um, I will say that um, this part at the end here does come off. The only reason I can think that it does that is so that when it was in the box, it was able to fit in a smaller box. Otherwise, they would have had to extend the box longer. But I also see it as kind of a positive feature because if you were to drop this and it was to fall on the nose cannon, then it would um, possibly snap in half, and then you wouldn't be able to fix it unless you super glued it. So I think if you ever drop it, it's good that that um, gives away. Kind of like some of the new Transformers have parts on them that give away, so they're not permanently broke. So other than the pig um, stand that they have, or post, there's a seat here. There's another seat over here on the other side that's covered. There is a position hole or stand, you know, here where someone can stand up. I don't think you'd ever get anyone to sit there. Um, it does fire missiles, and I think they hit it pretty well where the missiles are. It's kind of like this little uh, trunk. You open this up, and inside are all the different missiles. Cool thing again is that it has um, the same end on each side, so that way, if you put them in, no matter which way, they're not going to be in the wrong way. They'll fire either way. There are little areas here, like a cargo or um, luggage rack type thing, right here, and one here. Uh, there's an antenna that moves up and down, twist all the way around. There's a gun on this side and a gun on this side. They're not molded in place. You can move them. Uh, the treads, though, unfortunately are molded. They don't move independently. The only way that this vehicle moves is the four wheels that are underneath. Since we have it this way, I'll go ahead and show you that um, even if you're not going to use this vehicle very much, you would definitely want to make sure it's on the off position anytime you're not using it because it runs on two C batteries. So unless you've got easy access to C batteries or um, don't find it a big deal to use C batteries, but those are the big ones, they're not triple A or double A. Um, then you would definitely want to keep it off because even while trying to prepare uh, for this video um, it came on so many times because even though it's upside down like this anytime you touch this or anything touches it it automatically makes sound. Um, I went ahead and had this extended out because again once you have it in there it is rather hard to get out but at least you know when you're using it or displaying it it won't fall around you do have to move this turret though in order to get it out. Um, 
It's part of the Spy Troops line, but I don't really see that there's any spy features to it. The only thing, if you're really looking for, you know, some type of spy feature, I guess you could say that this one right here could be a spy type compartment because over here it's molded shut, but this one it opens up. But again, just like with the trigger, you have to move it out of the way and you have to lift it up. And it's kind of cool though because I kind of even forgot there were accessories in there. But you could put their different disguises in there or you could put maybe a figure to hide in there or maybe even two. And that way if your crew's captured you still have these two guys that or gals that can save the day. Um, this here comes out. And I'm going to go ahead and turn it on, and hopefully you'll he hear me as well as the different sounds that this uh, vehicle makes. So right there, that's kind of the turret sound, I would say, because if you move the turret, it's that sound. If you start rolling it, it will make a starting up engine sound. And if you keep it rolling, it starts making a continuous sound, which is that sound right there. Kind of on a small table here, so it doesn't really show it that well. The joystick back here, if you move it, it moves the turret. Pretty much only moves that way with the uh, trigger, and then a little bit back to center it. I think maybe a safety thing, it doesn't turn towards you with the um, controller because if you're facing this way, you don't want it to fire missiles at you. Um, it can though, as long as you don't have it turned on, it can move both ways, but it does ratchet kind of sound. So um, it's only really meant to go that from the center um, away from you. If you use the little knob here, you will see that it moves this gun and um, then to fire it there is a button right there hopefully you can see the um, part of this sticking out right there and I will go ahead and try and fire it for you And hopefully you heard that, you'll hear the sound of it firing, flying through the air, and then finally hitting wherever it hits, and then an explosion sound, so we'll do that one more time so you can pay attention to that. So I think that's pretty cool, just like with the thunder wing, it makes uh, the sound of it, you know, firing, and then, and like I said, I wasn't even touching it that time. And it, or even right now, it's still making sound. So that's what I'm saying. If you have the uh, thing on, make sure that you're using it. As soon as you're done using it, make sure to turn it off because it will do the sound. Um, it's very sensitive. Um, so I think that's all I can really say. Um, other than the fact that I see this more as a playset, and you know, even though it is big, it can actually save you some room because if you're I uh, got this on display and then you want your other figures and you don't want them hidden inside of vehicles you can display quite a few f um, figures on here and that way you're saving space by having figures that might be taking up shelf space actually on display um, so thank you for watching and hopefully I've answered your questions and if not then that opens it up for discussion thank you bye